of people it's about that time to randomly relate reverse rants no hate now we had Derek Chisora versus Kubrat Pulev salute to both men for doing what they were capable of doing salute you for getting in the ring and putting it on the line Derek Chisora Cool Brad Pulev went the distance. This was a close fight where Chisora got the victory. <clears throat> and basically, for the fight to be close and for him to get it, well, he's a little bit younger than Cool Brad Pulev and you know, he himself said he wouldn't have been shocked if, if it would have went to Cool Brad Pulev. Honestly, man, like, this was a fight. I gave the first two rounds to Derek Chisora. I gave three and four to Cool Brad Pulev. To be honest with you, the whole fight looked like every round looked damn near identical. Um, there was a lot of holding and hitting, holding and hitting, holding and hitting. And I'm looking at, you know, both of them, you know, they would, you know, one would do something first, the other would follow up. Back and forth. Okay, tit for tat. I get it. You elbow me, I'm elbowing you. So, all of it, I mean, it, it was just, it was really a boring fight. Um, Derek would come in when he would, you know, get on the inside and they were holding. He was holding and hitting constantly, constantly, right? He did a lot of body work in this fight. And Pula finally got smart and realized, you know, when he comes in with his head, don't grab him this way, you know, because he's hitting you here. You understand what I mean? When he comes in, you tie his head up. You you headlock him. Simple. The ref gonna complain about you headlocking? Hey, he keeps grabbing me. Every time he grabs me, I'm headlocking. Simple. So he's gonna take a point away. Both you guys are getting warned. If it comes to it, it comes to it. But you can clearly see this was part of Chisora's plan. Rough house tactics, let me get in. This, you know, this is what he has to do. His lack of boxing skill, technical skills, he doesn't have that. It took, you know, Pulev at the third round. Into the second, he didn't sit down on the stool. He stood up. I think he kind of felt like, all right, I think I lost these two for these first two rounds. I don't want to get relaxed. And all right, he started coming on towards the second end of the second. So I, I, I guess. Could you know? I felt like it might have been more of a. All right, let me keep it going. Derek Chisora was looking tired. Like I guess that's just him, man. He just when he was sitting in the corner in the second round, he breathed with his mouth open, and I'm like, man, don't tell me you gassing already. But they went the distance, and it was a typical thing, man. Derek Chisora, when he starts getting hit, he starts swinging back. He does. He does come to fight. I respect that about him. Okay, he got the decision in his favor tonight. Well. The way I see it, Kubrat Pulev and him both, you know, they're journeymen. Chisora said he has a you know, couple more fights left in him. Not much, you know, but he wanna fight everybody. He wanna say he fought everybody in his era. Now, I respect that. Most definitely. I respect that. You know. Um For Kubrat Pulev, like I said, either one of these guys, it's like who are you gonna fatten him up for? You understand? It's like, 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 he's saying he wants to fight the bronze bomber. We know that's Deontay Wilder. The interviewer, when he spoke to Eddie, Eddie didn't even address the point of him fighting Wilder. He talked about giving him pretty much his credit for what he's done in the sport. And he's glad that he got the decision and, you know, things of that nature. But he didn't even address that. I don't even see that as a fight that's going to happen. Be, you know, unless Derek's willing to come to the U.S. I don't see Deontay going over there. Of all people to fight Chisora. In all honesty, a keep busy fight is one thing. And I'd rather see him. To be honest with you, that's a step down for Deontay. The fact that for him to be where he is. And in losing the Fury, yeah, he'd be coming off of a loss. Um, truthfully, man, um, 
And when I say a step down, what I mean, let me, all right, what I mean is Derek Chisora is not a guy that you get, that, that you see having, when is the last title match he's had? When, when, you know, the last hurrah he had for trying to get in that position was against Dillian White. And that was some years ago. So for Wilder, and let's just say, let me just tell you something, right? If Wilder don't get Chisora out of there, Chisora might get wild out there because in terms of boxing skills, he don't have to worry about that from Wilder. You already know what you have to worry about with Wilder. Well, not even worry, but what you have to, you know, look out for with him. You know, Del Boy wants to keep fighting. Right, he's going to do it until he feels like he's done, and that's his right. Um, It wasn't really a lot to say about this fight, man. I mean, he was doing a lot of body work. You know, Pulev started getting combinations going. I caught Pulev landed some chopping shots on the inside that the commentators were so busy talking, they wasn't that they weren't even reacting to it. And the fans was cheering for Derek so loud that, you know, when he would come in, sometimes these exchanges they move and he was landing shots too that, that they weren't even like acknowledging. But there was a like there was just a back and forth fight. Um, you know, you know honestly people, it was a boring fight. It was really a boring fight, man. Derek did what Derek did. Now, if this fight should have convinced you all of one thing, no matter how much props we give them for having heart and coming to fight, and we appreciate that and respect that about him, but this fight showed you, man, this guy is a contender, but he's not an elite fighter. He's not championship material. He's just not. His better days are behind him, okay? And if it's his wish to fight Deontay, <coughs> he wants to keep it in the top 10, top 2, top 3, that's, that's beautiful. Wouldn't it be great if all the uh, um, so-called elite fighters had that same mentality, that they want to fight each other? But at the same time, he was, you know, joking with Eddie. Uh, to me, it was like serious joking, though. About, hey, man, pay me some money, man. Like, I'm going to the other boys and, you know, all that. But at the end of the day, man, look, let's be real. Like, like you know, joking about, you know, leaving matchroom. But, look, let's be real, man. Let's be real. Okay. There's only so many fights you have left. When you start to say it, you know it. If you're going to go out on your shield, why not a top guy? I get it. The thing with Derek, and tonight what he was doing, he was rolling and moving. He was, he rarely, he wasn't really able to make Kubrat mess with the roll and then make him pay coming back with the hook, you know, on the other side or whatever. But he was rolling, rolling, and Kubrat was having difficulty trying to find a target. And, um, you know, it, it, it just basically, man, look. This is what we had tonight. You know, you have in the NFL, you have the Super Bowl. College have the Rose Bowl. And tonight, we had the Old Bowl. And Derek Chisano, you know, Chisora won the Old Bowl. These two guys, I salute them for what they did. But both guys, clearly, you can see it from fight to fight to fight. You can see the difference. You can see it. I mean, Chisora's more active than than Kubrat, but you can see they're not the same fighters, man. And there was more emphasis on Derek more so than Kubrat because Derek has been fighting more, and Kubrat name doesn't really come up too often. Um, but you 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 could see, and, and look, Eddie Hearn was 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 given you know his props saying that he just defeated a top top ten top fifteen fighter in Kubrat Pulev. We all know that Kubrat Pulev, all right, there's many fighters that would beat him. That There's many and would beat him convincingly. If Derek Chisora gets a shot at a guy like Wilder, we know Andy Ruiz has um, Luis Ortiz coming up. If he, I, I, I don't even see the Wilder fight happening, honestly. Who he gets, I don't know. He's saying he wanted to say he fought everybody of his era. 
I mean, you got guys like Robert Hellenius. Does he, I mean, did that fight happen? Adam Kalnaki is not a formidable foe, man. Even if he, I mean, regardless to how that fight goes, Kalnaki is, is he basically never reached the level that people thought he was going to reach. And so, if I'm, I mean, looking at it, I don't see Derek Chisora really wanting to waste his time with fights like that. Because even though Hellenius, you know, does have some respect, if you cannot get the fights that you need, that's that people are going to pay. Nobody's going to pay you big money to fight Hellenius or Adam Kalnaki or Charles Martin or guys like that. This is why I say, you know, a Joseph Parker, he already fought him twice. So my point is, Derek Chisora, he comes to fight. Yes. And he does go in there and perform, and 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 he, it, there's excitement there because he does come, especially like when he gets hit, and he gets hurt, and he starts coming back. He does. But to stick around just to have some junk fights is not worth it, in my opinion. Now it's his choice what he does, but notice he calls out, he says he wants to fight the bronze bomber, and he says this in the ring, and he made this note. That doesn't mean Deontay responds. And I don't see this being like a big money fight for like for Deontay and, and Derek Chisora. I feel like, okay, he's getting his flowers. He's getting his props about where he stands in boxing and what he's done. But I don't see this as a fight like that. That I, I really don't see Deontay being interested in fighting Derek Chisora, to be honest with you. I don't. Now, if he comes back and has a warm-up, a tune-up, so to speak, with a lesser fighter, some 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 meatball, then, yeah, I can understand. Then it's like, well, damn, you could have fought Chisora if you was going to fight, you know, this guy, whoever that may be. But if Deontay does come back and he comes back against a top guy, another top guy, then so be it. But I just see, in all honesty, this version of Derek Chisora, what people don't understand, okay, he looked better in this fight than he's looked in a long time because Kubrat Pulev himself is a journeyman. That's why. He's not he's, he's not near against someone that can, you know, Derek Chisora is so slow, but so is Kubrat Pulev. They're both slow. Looping punches. Um, Kubrat Pulev has a habit of pushing his shots and it doesn't come out the way it's supposed to. He had a hard time trying to find Derek Chisora. And once he started to, in the, in the early rounds, when he started to find him, he started to land. And basically, I just saw two old warriors in there that looked older than what they are, that was able to have a good fight. And it wasn't even a good fight. It was able to exchange blows and go back and forth with each other. It was a boring fight. I mean, you know, it was a boring fight, but they were able to do this against each other. There's guys out there. You know, I would I would definitely keep Chisora and Pulev away from Frank Sanchez. I think Jared Anderson would beat the shit out of both of them right now in his young career. I believe that I believe what would happen is with, with, with Chisora, I believe Chisora would have a guy like Jared Anderson at, earlier in the fight. He you know, cause you know Chisora's gonna come for that for that, you know, for the knockout. He's gonna go in there with I'm coming for war shit. And I can see Jared Anderson Anderson's um, hand was telling him, you know, look, this guy is 38, 39, whatever. Like, you know, he don't have the gas tank he once had. Just be poised because, you know, he, he's strong. He's going to come in, jab, use your range, find him, make him come in, catch him coming in because he's too slow, man. And when you start to make Derek Chisora reach, that's when you really see how slow he is. And that goes to show you how much Pulev himself is no longer what he used to be either because Pulev is a couple of times with Chisora swung and you could see that slowness but just but Pulev was not able to have it where he's exposing it ex exposing it having him expose it by putting him in positions where he's swinging and missing make a miss make a pay with the counters no he wasn't able to do that so he was in there with another journeyman and that's why the fight was able to go the way it went but it was a boring fight but listen salute Derek War Chisora, you are the winner of the old bowl. <laughs> Salute you, no jokes aside. It's good that he does realize. He said, I have a few more fights left in me.
then he might be crazy enough to try to have five or six more fights. Who knows what? You can clearly see. And this is not to discredit him. This is with all the credit you want to give him. All the credit that he deserves for what he's done. What he used to be, that's not what he is now. And he's not going to turn the clock back. It's going to be the same Chisora. Chisora is slow. His hands are slow. His feet are slow. He still has a good chin, which is also part of why he needs to get the fuck out of boxing. Because the amount of shots that he takes is, I mean, he had his kids at the fight. Said it's the first time he saw him fight. And I'm pretty sure Derek Chisora don't want to be sitting around trying to talk to his kids, mumbling, can't talk, you know, and, and sitting there and they can't. And I'm sure his kids don't want to see him like that. So, you know, the fans got to learn how to back off and stop being so fucking greedy, man. And just more, more, more blood, more war. The dude did what he did. When he decides to, you know, call it quits, that's when it'll be. But at the same time, Derek Chisora, salute for what you've done. And nobody can take away the fact that you came to fight, you showed up to fight, win, lose, or draw. But it's also a time to know when to hang it up. As I've stated before, Derek Chisora, salute. You are the winner of the old bowl. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth. You can say that to people. And I'll catch y'all on the next video. And salute to Pulev because Pulev was there. People already saying, oh, I think Pulev won. It was one of them things, you know, but it is what it is. That's all I got for y'all. Catch y'all on the next one.